Hello! Today, we will talk about the configuration tool usage and sensor connections. Let's start with the RS485 converter. Connect the green wire data plus of the output cable of the sensor box to USB RS485 converter data plus or A. And connect the yellow wire data minus of the output cable of the sensor box to the USB RS485 converter data minus or B. The brown wire of the output cable of the sensor box is power plus wire and the white wire is power minus wire. Our sensors work with direct current between 12 volt and 30 volt. The recommended voltage is 24 volt. After completing the cable connections of our sensor, let's install the necessary drivers to use the RS485 converter and start using our configuration tool. In order to understand whether the serial port drivers is installed on your computer, connect the RS485 converter to the computer's USB ports. If the RS485 converter driver show up in the ports in the device manager, that means your driver is installed. If it didn't show up or if it show up with yellow exclamation mark, that means that you need to install the CH341 driver. Select the downloaded driver location and proceed with the installation. Now, everything is ready for us to connect our sensor. Let's talk about how to connect the sensor to the configuration tool. Firstly, in the port settings section, we will select the port which our RS485 converter is connected to, and then enter our sensor ID, baud rate, and parity values under the actual heading. The default factory settings values of our sensor are ID 1, baud rate 9600, and parity none over 1. After entering the values, we will connect our sensor with the connect button in the port settings section. After the sensor connection is ensured, the sensor data can be followed from the sensor data section. The configuration tool generally consists of seven sections. The first one, port settings. In this section, there is the port selection screen to which our RS485 converter is connected. And there is the scan and the stop scan buttons, which allows to the sensor communication data in the sensor communication settings section to be found. The second, communication settings. In this section, seven sensor communication parameters, ID, baud rate, and parity values can be entered and changed. The third section, it is the sensor scan info. After clicking on the scan button, while searching for our sensor communication parameters, the searched values are going to be shown in this section. The fourth one, sensor data. After connecting the sensor to our configuration tool, in this section, the data transmitted from the sensor via Modbus protocol will be displayed. The fifth section, it is the sensor settings. The connected sensor configuration information is provided in this section. The sixth one, it is the device information. The section provides connected sensor device information including sensor serial number, cell calibration date, manufacturing date, hardware, and software versions. The seventh section is firmware updates. In this section, remote software installation to the sensor is performed.
In order to change the sensor parameters, firstly, the connection with the sensor is made with the connect button. Then we enter the ID, baud rate and parity values under the new heading to the value to be set and then we click on the right and reset button. If the values are set successfully, the boxes will turn green and then gray. New sensor parameters will be shown under the actual heading. If we forgot our sensor parameters or we didn't found it, we can found it with the scan button. For this, we will select the COM port and click on the scan button. Then a notification message will show up when the sensor communication parameters are found. And then, the sensor parameters will be automatically filled under the actual heading and we can connect the sensor with the connect button. Disconnect the sensor from the power supply before starting the software update process. Then, we will select the COM port which the RS485 converter is connected to. Here, we should not connect the sensor with the connect button. After selecting the COM port, we are going to select the point bin extension software file from the select file menu. After connecting the sensor to the power source, we will click the update firmware button. Within 10 seconds, the software installation process can be followed from the update progress bar. After the installation is completed, the new software version becomes available to use after the sensor is disconnected from the power supply and reconnected. Thank you for your time.